pandemic behind us, the economy largely recovered, and investment and progress on track to continue, I have decided that now is the right time to conclude my service as mayor. After a decade of service today, Burlington's mayor announcing this will be his final term. He will not seek re-election in March. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Liz Streppa. And I'm Brian Collar, and we're bringing you live team coverage tonight of today's announcement. NBC5's Jack Thurston exclusively sat down with the mayor one-on-one -on -one before his news conference to talk about what's next for him. But first, NBC5 Stuart Ledbetter is in the newsroom now with more from the big announcement before a crowd of supporters this afternoon. Stu? Well, Liz, uh, Weinberger is the second longest serving mayor in city history. Twelve eventful years when he wraps up next spring. He uh, spent a lot of that time dealing with a fiscal crisis, an explosion of drug overdoses on city streets, the pandemic shutdown, and a protracted political fight with city progressives over policing, one that nearly uh, cost him his job in the last mayoral campaign. But before a packed crowd, uh, really a who's who of uh, Burlington current and former leaders at City Arts, the same room Weinberger used to kick off his improbable campaign back in 2011, the mayor said he'd been able to deliver on his promises to get Burlington on track and moving again. He noted the city's much improved fiscal health, restored credit rating, lots of new development, and even uh, City Place and the Champlain Parkway finally under construction serving the people of Burlington and with an amazingly talented and committed team and in partnership with so many people who care deeply about this city has truly been the opportunity of a lifetime. While I am not certain what I will do next, I have every intention of staying involved. The 53-year-old, regarded a, as a centrist Democrat, noted Vermont's enormous housing shortage, its homelessness problem. And he said uh, state leaders are not doing nearly enough to take on the climate change emergency. What's that sound like to you? Well, he's a former housing developer who could earn more in the private sector, but he told NBC5 that is not his motivation, and he sounded very much like he will refocus his sights on statewide politics. His decision to leave uh, leaves City Hall politics wide open. The election in March, but this afternoon, Progressive State Representative Emma Mulvaney Stanick confirmed she is seriously considering a run for mayor, and so is longtime Democratic City Councilor Joan Shannon, and there may well be others. Brian, Liz? Well, watch this closely, Stu. Thanks. NBC5 News was the only television station to sit down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with the mayor before his announcement. Yeah, in that conversation, he acknowledged not everything with the city is going in the right direction, pointing to some major challenges as a city, state, and country. Jack Thurston is here to share more from his sit-down interview today with the mayor. Jack? Well, Brian, those challenges you talked about have Weinberger thinking about next steps for his career. He said it's too soon to say what those next steps will be, but it is obvious that public service is on his mind. I am very concerned about the level of homelessness that we are experiencing right now. Vermont has the second worst homelessness rate uh, in the country. We have a deepening drug crisis. We're not doing nearly enough uh, to address the climate emergency. I'm going to take some time to figure out what's next, but I, I am very interested in continuing to, to work on these issues. They're not going to solve themselves. They, uh, they're going to require leadership, and if I can find a way to um, contribute to that, I'm, I'm going to. Leadership as in you might lead a nonprofit or you might run for higher office? I, I'm, I'm going to take you know, some months to um, figure out what's next. Uh, I do I do, however, think that we have real issues, as we've just been discussing, and um, if there's a way that uh, I can contribute in, in another office to um, moving, moving the community forward, it's certainly something I'll consider. Now, Weinberger went on to say those challenges are bigger than what any one city can do alone, which factors, of course, into his decision to consider pursuing a new role. As for who may succeed him, the mayor said after 150 years with white men at the helm, it would be exciting if that changed, telling us he knows it's certainly on the minds of a lot of voters to see a woman or a person of color perhaps lead the city next. Live in the studio, I'm Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.